In this video, you will learn how to use the RealView Engine 2D Overlay. 3Shape's RealView Engine provides a near photorealistic visualization of the patient case that brings together the patient's smile, the designed teeth, the existing teeth, and the gingiva. The result allows the technician to verify the design in relation to the patient's smile and thereby achieve optimal aesthetics. When combined with 3Shape Communicate, labs can show dentists and patients exactly how a new restoration will transform the patient's smile. Start by creating a new order, choosing the required type of restoration, material, and type of impression. The RealView engine can be used with interaural scans as well as with the scans of plaster models. While creating an order under the patient information, you can add a clinical photo to that order that will later be overlaid on the 3D scan. Once the order has been created, follow the usual workflow path of preparing a scan. Setting the insertion direction, the margin line, and die interfaces. When you reach the anatomy design step, use the Smile Composer's Smile Library to choose the correct shape of teeth. Use the available sculpt tools to adjust the shape and size according to any requirements. Here in the anatomy design step, in the viewing tools bar, you can find the real view engine icon. When you click it, the real view wizard appears with a 2D image that you have already added in the order form. If you have not added any pictures, clicking the real view engine icon will open the browse dialog, offering you to upload the 2D images from a selected folder. If several images were added to the order, you can switch between them using the patient image sliders. The real view window that appears with a picture contains a four-step workflow bar situated on the top and a guidelines bar situated at the bottom. To properly overlay a 2D picture, zoom and pan it for the best result. The first step of the real view engine allows you to set two points of the horizontal line across the pupils of the eyes. That line will keep the smile occlusion parallel with the eyes. If the angulation of the line needs to be adjusted, click on one of the points and move it. Clicking on the line gives you the possibility to shift it with no change in angulation. You can add more horizontal and vertical guidelines clicking on the plus button and then on the picture in the desired location. Right clicking on a point or line enables you to delete that line or all lines. Now, when the guidelines have been set, you can move to the second step, which is setting the cut out line for scan and design. This enables your 3D design to be seen as a 2D image. Click on the second step and place the spline around the teeth and gingiva by placing the control points with the cursor. To close the spline, click on the first point. Right-clicking on the spline gives the option to clear it. For better aesthetics of a designed restoration, you can cut out the gingiva from the teeth with the Fast Edit option. Press Control and scroll the mouse wheel to change the influence radius of the cut-out spline. After setting the cutout line, move to the alignment step. Place four matching pairs of points on the image and on the preparation scan. By clicking the points in turn, one point on the preparation scan, and then the corresponding one on the image. After the last point is placed, the software automatically aligns an image to a scan. Check if the scan and picture have been aligned correctly by changing the visibility of the image. You can move points to adjust alignment if necessary. When alignment is correct, 
go to the rendering step and view the 3D design together with the 2D image where the CAD design teeth are automatically rendered with the same color as the existing neighboring teeth. You can change the tooth color sampling area by moving around the red square on the picture as well as by changing its size. Hold shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change size. While 2D picture is overlaid on the scan, you can adjust the design by using the sculpt tools to match it with the smile. To come back to design mode, use the patient image slider or click the real view engine button. Thank you for watching.